Mbira is a three-piece instrument. This is the instrument called Mbira, and this is a calabash. We've got this stick. It's called Mutsigo. Uh, it's for holding the between the Mbira and the calabash. It transmits the sounds between the, the calabash. The songs that we play are Zimbabwean traditional uh, songs. Uh, those are the songs that we use when we are doing our ceremonial activities in Zimbabwe. Uh, Mbira is the traditional instrument of uh, the Shona people. If you want to learn this instrument, the first thing that you have to do, you have to put your little finger here and hold it like this. This mirror, it has a lead here on your right side. On the left side, there's a rhythm here, and here is the bass. So it's like... It is very easy to, to make these shakers. You can just take a small pump, pumpkin like this, a small pumpkin. Then you can put some maize seed inside to it. Then you can make, you can make like this. You, you cut the small sticks like this one. That, then you insert. After that, you, you receive the sound like this. These shakers, uh, it's like it's a guide when you are playing bira. It guides uh, the bira not to be fast or to be slow. Uh, the Shona people, we credit them for making this bira instrument famous to the world. Uh, it's from different parts of the world, but the Shona people, they play it more professionally and regularly. Uh, so we make it from, from us to, to the world. This first song that we're playing is called Taireva. It's a spiritual song. It gives people the spirit in. It gives people courage. It, it helps people to overcome whatever problems they might have. Any, any problem that people can have, they sing about that song, Taireva. It, it gives communication between the ancestors and us people on, living on the land and it gives us courage that we will overcome. As we know, Zimbabwe we had some tough situations in Zimbabwe, but we had to overcome with our songs, with our music. Yeah.